Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Brent and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up and configure a Firebase application for Android. Now we're going to use this tutorial for future videos so we no longer have to uh, dedicate time in those videos to the setup and configuration. So if you're interested in learning how to config, go ahead and stick with me. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. First off, you're going to need a Firebase account. You can go ahead and get one of those at firebase.google.com um, and then go ahead and create a new project once you start that. Our project for this tutorial will be uh, Firebase Basic. Go ahead and create that project. Once you create that project, you'll be presented with this screen. We're going to go ahead and click Add Firebase to your Android app and we're going to need two different things. Now before we get started with the actual Android application and creating that project, we're going to go ahead and find our debug signing SHA-1 certificate. Now um, Android Studio uses uh, this to sign our applications when we run them in debug mode and then we use this number uh, for um, connecting to Google services like a Google uh, single sign-on. Now to find this, it's going to be in, it's created by Java, so it's in your Java folder, typically where you have your JDK and JRE folders. It's gonna be in the JRE folder, so I want you to double click that and go into the bin folder. Now once you're here, I want you to find a piece of white space to shift right click into and open the command window here. I'm gonna maximize this for you. Now this is a long command, so you have to pay really close attention here, I feel like. And it goes like this, um, key tool, export cert, list the alias Android debug key, key store. And then we gotta give it the path to our key store. And by default, Android Studio saves the key store in our user profile. Um, backslash dot android and then debug dot key store and it's going to ask you for the password and by default that password is android so go ahead and type that in and you should be able to copy this sha1 key right there now we're going to go ahead and paste that number right here now we need to set up our android project Go ahead and open Android Studio and click start a new Android Studio project. The application name for us will be, um, let's see, Firebase Basic. Go ahead and click next. We're going to target at least API 16. That's my personal preference for some of the libraries I use. We're going to create an empty activity and hit next. Go ahead and keep main activity and finish and let that all set up. Once that's set up, you should see something like this and something like this on the left side. If you don't see this, go ahead and make sure project is selected here. I want you to go ahead and go down to your build.gradle inside of your app directory. And we're going to copy this application ID just like that. Go back to our Firebase console here and paste that in and click add app. So once you're here, a file will start to download, and that is the google-services.json file. This is a configuration file that we'll use in the future with Firebase. So what I want you to do is go ahead and show in the folder here, pull up your Android Studios. I want you to go ahead and drag this file uh, to the app directory here, um, and that's where it needs to be stored by default. So as you can see here, this has a lot of different keys and stuff like that that we'll use with Firebase in the future. So now go ahead and click continue here. You're going to see two different things we have to add to our Gradle files. The first is a uh, class path that we're going to add to the project level Gradle file. So let's go ahead and copy that line right there. Go to your project level uh, Gradle file. Should look something like this. And go ahead and paste that right below uh, the dependencies here. Now go ahead and go back. We are also going to copy this line here. This is apply a plugin uh, to our Gradle file, but this is in the app level uh, Gradle file. So that one is up here and you paste it below everything down here. Now what this does is it allows um, Android Studios or Gradle rather to actually read this Google services.json file and apply like resource strings and stuff like that that we can use in our application later on. 
So there's a few other things that we're gonna wanna add to our app level Gradle file, and I'm gonna just paste this one here so it's quicker. Uh, but this is the Firebase core module here. Now we're going to also need a few other things here. So let's go ahead and paste this three times or so. The auth will be one of them. Um, the database database there and then what else do we need uh, maybe um, storage so let's do storage here but I think we'll go ahead and comment that one out for now so go ahead and hit sync now there's actually at least two more that we're going to need for future tutorials so I'm going to go ahead and add them here uh, for completeness um, the first is Firebase UI we'll use that for multiple single sign-ons um, at the same time, and then the Google uh, Play Services dash auth will use that for specifically Google sign in. Um, so some of these you may not need immediately, but in future tutorials, we're just going to go ahead and have them there so you don't have to have them all set up. So now we can go ahead and sync this now. Now that Android Studio is pretty much set up and ready to code our application, we're going to go ahead and leave that as it is. So I'm going to close this out. Um, and we're going to move on to our uh, configuration of the Firebase console. Now you can go ahead and click finish here. Um, your application has been created. We can go ahead and go to auth here. We're going to select a few things that we're going to be able to auth uh, with. Um, so for starters, we'll probably use... Uh, Google Google is automatically set up w since we use the Google slash services API so we don't need to add anything here um, we'll go ahead and enable an email and password by default and we'll go ahead and add a Facebook uh, login now we're gonna need some more information for Facebook login now to get that information we need to create a Facebook application and if you've never done that before you'll have to go to developers.facebook.com and create a new application. When you hit a button that says create a new application like create new app it's going to ask you for two things a application name and a contact email address. Go ahead and put those in the application name can be whatever you want. Now, uh, once you've created the application, you'll be presented with an or screen like this with your application name here. The first thing you'll see here is an application ID. We're going to go ahead and copy that and paste it into our um, application ID on Firebase. Then we can go ahead and show this secret because I'm going to delete this application right after this video. Uh, and so we'll go ahead and paste the secret right there. Now you'll see here to complete setup, uh, add this OAuth redirect URI to Facebook application configuration. So we're going to go ahead and copy this, go back to our Facebook um, application here, and um, let's make sure I'm in where I'm supposed to be. Now we'll add a new product. The new product is actually Facebook login, since I've already added it. Um, it's already there. So you'll add a product and you'll go to Facebook login. Now you'll need to make sure that these things are selected. Uh, client OAuth login, web OAuth login, um, embedded browser OAuth login. Some of these may not be necessary, but this is the best configuration that I found. Um, so you'll click under valid OAuth redirect URIs and you'll go ahead and paste that link there and go ahead and click save changes. Now one other thing you'll need to do is go back to the dashboard um, actually we're going to go to settings and under settings you'll see add platform here. Um, we are going to add an Android platform and make sure that our Google Play package name um, is right there. That should be the only thing you actually have to add. You may need to add localhost and localhost8081 for testing purposes. I don't think you do. Um, I think that's just for web applications but it's there just in case you know whatever this would be whatever port. So yeah, just screw that, you don't need it. Save changes. This screen may pop up for you, just go ahead and click use package, this package name because we haven't publicly uploaded to the Google Play Store yet. Um, so once that's done, it'll go ahead and save. 
There's just one more thing I want to add to our actual uh, configuration inside of Android Studios, and that is the application ID we're going to go ahead and add as a resource string in case I forget it in future tutorials. Hopefully I don't though. Um, so just go to your res folder in values and inside of the strings.xml file. Go ahead and add this Facebook application ID, and right here you'll go ahead and paste that uh, ID. So uh, the application has access to that Facebook ID in the future. So I've gone ahead and tested this configuration. I have not changed any code other than our main activity, which we'll learn about in future tutorials, uh, just to see if this configuration works, and it does with both Facebook and Google. So we can go ahead and sign in with Google here, um, and we'll get a log out button, and uh, we can log out of our application. So all of our configuration works. Um, if you're interested in learning more about uh, programming in Firebase, watch my future tutorials, and we'll use some of this code. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys learned something and go ahead and put this knowledge to good use for future tutorials. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post them below. I'm pretty good about getting back to everybody. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe so you can stick with me for future Firebase tutorials. Uh, most importantly, please check out my Patreon page. I give you two big thumbs up for that. I appreciate everybody watching and I'll catch you guys next time.